Alright lads, that was absolute carnage. Right then, lads. The blanks at the birch are finally over. Absolutely over the moon with that. <laughs> yes, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the Chunks of Fishing channel. As you can see, I'm looking very happy. You join me back on the birch for a bit of carp fishing. I am smiling my face off. I'll tell you why in a minute. But yeah, welcome back. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of carnage here. There's only one rod that's out at the moment. I'm down here for about it was just under 48 hours, hopefully for about a 30, 32, 36 hour session, that's, that's what it is, that's possible, I don't know. I arrived really late last night, I arrived at about like half seven, half seven in the evening, so it was a mad rush to get some rods out. I managed to get all the rods out by about half nine and get 10 spawns over this tree in the distance here, aiming towards that, so about 10 wraps out. So what I did, I had so one rod, as you can still see in, is on the baited spot of the 10 spoms. That's on a pickering rig, so around here. And then I had a solid bag rod off to the right. It's about two rod lengths off. And then I had one rod down in the margins. Now notice how I was saying I did have. <laughs> so the whole night passed, it was fortunate it was uneventful. But this morning, about half eight, before I had any chance to set up the cameras or start filming for you guys, this is what happened on the solid bag rod. Now after running to the rod like a mammoth that had just been defrosted, my heart started to pound and straight away I knew it felt like a big fish. It wasn't just from the seconds of cardio, I promise. With the swim being tight and the fish kiting to the left, I knew this was going to get messy with my other line, so I thought I'd try and ask the lads next door for help. Lads? Boys? Unfortunately, and rightfully so, they were still fast asleep. After realising I would need to man up and handle this solo, I kept focus on the fish and got the rod under my middle rod. and laid my left margin rod flat to keep the line as low as possible when the fish died for the reeds in the left hand margin. The fish made it into the reeds down the left hand margin and snagged me on them. Determined not to lose this fish, there was only one thing for it. I was going in after it. I managed to free the carp from the reeds and continued to play it just in front of me. I had already seen it was a big common and at this point it felt like an age for the fish to give in. But eventually it did and it slipped over my net. Right lads, that was absolute carnage, but it's about half eight, the solid bag rod went off, the right rod 
for about 10 reps out, just off the edge of the bait spot. Carted all around to the left. I was trying to shout out for these lads to come help. I think they'll be, they'll be you know, enjoying the morning snoozes like I, I was doing. Um, but yeah, we basically just slammed me up in these reeds here. And I thought, Joe, you know what? I'm not letting it do, not letting it do me in that. So I got in, but we got a lovely chunky common in there. This is good stuff. Right then, lads. The blanks at the birch are finally over with this absolutely amazing oh, 28 pound. Oh, to be fair, what's 0.8 in pounds? Uh, okay, well, I don't, the, the scales aren't on pound, uh, on ounces, so it's just 28.8 pounds. Oh, yeah. With this beautiful. Come on, girl. Come on. Look at that fish, perfect. Now that is a beautiful cover. The blanks are over at the perch. <laughs> I was off the solid bag rod. And as you can see from the footage, it was a bit of carnage getting it in. <laughs> Absolutely over the moon with that. <laughs> right, I'll get a couple of stills, we'll get it back. Release. So it's 28 pound, 12 ounce. We figured out what the point the decimal was. So big old common from the birch. Beautiful. Look at that. What a lovely common. I do like a big common. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome fish. <laughs> right, let's let it go. Boom. Right, let's try and get another one then, eh? <laughs> As you can see, it was all a bit of carnage and a bit hectic. So I'm just redoing the rods now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a new hook on my margin rod because that seems I'm just not confident of how sharp that is at the moment. So I'm going to put a new hook on there, and then after that, get some more bait on, make up another solid bag, and get that back out there off spot. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll take the margin rod and put it a bit further to the left hand side. Um, maybe throw out, maybe put some bait around it as well. But I think that could be a win. So yeah, that's the goal. Let's get cracking. After calming down a bit, I got a fresh sharp hook on the solid bag rig and then whacked that back out to the right of the baited spot. So yeah, that's the solid bag rod back out. But look, look at that, you can see the flat spot? Look at that flat spot doing the job. That's what, that's what I want to see. This wind is lovely for it, isn't it? Right. Right, I'm probably going to redo the middle rod, get that back out on the spot by the tree and get some bait out. I recast the pickering rig back on top of the baited spot. The plan being now to go with the carp angler's fillet in approach and to get a load of spawns out, leaving a nice big bed of bait for one of those birch chunks to find. However, my spotting was quickly interrupted by my neighbour having a take. Right, so as I was just spotting out, one of my neighbours, one of my, one of our neighbours is uh, just hooked in, I think. Good lad. Well oh, done, mate. Yeah. Is this the island rod, is it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Which I was like the common. Oh, not a bad looking fish. See the side of it. Stay out of there, you. Oh, that's a PB, Alice. That's okay. a PB. Yeah, what's, what's a PB? 17, 16, 3 mirror. Oh, that's good. Only, only this, is what, this is what's sick about carp fishing, though, isn't it? It's literally like, we all, I've just all met each other, like, <laughs> just all met each other in this session. <laughs> and we all just get just as excited when a fish comes. <laughs> Absolutely. Like even if you had a bit of No, I just moved that one out the way I was 
TV is 16 pounds, so if that's all right, he's getting wet. There you go, you've you got it. Yes, that's, oh, I think if it's not 60, if it's, if it's close, I think that might be a PB. Well done, buddy. <laughs> It's recorded, so what's this then? What's your PB now? PB was 16 free, and now it's 19 pain. Oh no, I'm ready for a bit of payback, mate. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the week! Hey! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well done. The boots in the cup. Brilliant, Beautiful mate. Beautiful thing. Well done. <laughs> Let's get her back, mate. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Now that's what carp fishing is all about, isn't it? Just seeing others get their PBs. Awesome, absolutely awesome. What a syndicate as well. Everyone's, everyone's awesome down here. They all help. If you have a good fish on, everyone's the first to help you out. Right, I'll get back to bloody spotting. <laughs> I've got loads of bait to put out, yeah? Right, so, make your boys in again, but it's not a carp, it's not a bream, it's not a tench. This will be the first time I've had one of these on the channel. Let's have a look at it. Was it a screaming tape or was it like a soft tape? One beat. One beat, oh my God. Look at that, it's like a snake. <laughs> look at that horrible thing. Oh my God. <laughs> That is a monster. <laughs> I've never seen one. I haven't seen one that big come out here yet. <laughs> Such a big eel. I mean, look. <laughs> well, then, oh, oh and off you go. Like a snake. Crazy. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan. Of, don't think I'm a fan of them, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to scoff some food down me. How sick was that? We've seen a big eel. The lad catches PB mirror, and I've got a PB common. Just, just beat my other PB common, and they're both from Wales. What a carnage morning! Just want to say as well, guys. The last couple videos have been absolutely amazing with the support you guys have been giving it. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone. Uh, the linear videos have just. I think the St John's video is now my most viewed video. I've got a load more new subscribers from that. So guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, everyone likes to have a good laugh here. Welcome, and I hopefully we'll keep producing good content like this for you. I'm so happy that the blanking streak at the Syndicate has ended and with an awesome, with another PB. There's two PBs now I've got out of this place for both my mirror and my common, both at the Birch Syndicate. After trying not to look awkward eating that sausage, the afternoon quickly rolled in. Unfortunately, not much else was happening on my rods, and this is when that fidgety, impatient feeling started to creep in that we all get as anglers. With the sun starting to poke through, the temperature was quickly rising. Trying to work for another bite, I decided to change tactics on one of my rods. As you can see, the sun is blaring down today. So I'm gonna 
and nothing much is happening. It's not really bite time, but not much is happening on the rod. So I'm gonna bring in the left rod, which is on the pickering rig. On the pickering rig, on the baited spot, but I'm gonna put a zig on it. Why the hell not? Sun's out. It looks, it looks like ziggy weather, doesn't it? So let's get it on. Yeah, that's right. I decided to go for the tactic that I'm yet to land a fish on. But got to be in it to win it, eh? That's the eight foot zig we've made up, and someone I know is going to be thrilled I'm using that colour scheme. So I tied the zig up and got that onto a spot at 10 wraps to the left in open water. Whilst waiting for the zig to work some magic, the even quickly rolled in. And I don't know about you, but whilst I'm fishing and not catching, I have to start consuming some animal flesh. That's what these pork bellies taste like, eh? Wow. After scoffing the pork belly, it was time to reset the rods ready for the night. First was to put a fresh PVA bag on the rod that did me the bite in the morning. This is the exact rig that did me the fish earlier. Solid bag rig. Real short hook length, for about four inches of hook length with a yellow magic bean. And that's actually on a Ronnie, just I've tied on with braid. I think that's um, called a uh, dark matter stuff. But yeah, that's hopefully we will to do the damage again tonight. Then it was time to take the zig off and get the Pikmin rig back on the baited spot along with the other rod. I got that so close next to the other bait. <laughs> there must be that little line. Not sure if you can see that. Look at that, those two here. Right guys, that is it. That is it for the final evening. I've uh, got all the three rods out, ready for the night. They're all set, all out there, about 10 wraps. So I've got the solid bag on the right uh, of the baited spot at about 10 wraps, just put about five rod lengths off it. And then I've got two rods that are dead on top of the baited spot. And they're both on Pickering rigs. This is our last uh, roll of the dice for tonight. So hopefully with any luck, we'll get some fish. And if I do have anything in the night, You'll see me in a bit. If not, I'll see you tomorrow morning when we've still got a good few hours to try and steal another one. While I'm um, chowing this pot noodle, just thinking, named carp and carp names. <laughs> I want, to, want you guys to tell me, what's like the most outrageous carp name you know out there? Leave it in the comments below, I wanna know. Because part of me thinks if I ever got the opportunity to catch a carp and give it a name on a lake, I'd really wanna do something quite offensive. <laughs> like it's very awful. If I get an opportunity to name a fish, I'm gonna call it Epstein. <laughs> and if I call it Epstein, <laughs> it's gotta be a fish that's caught by an island, isn't it? Carp is caught by an island. And you get to name it, you've got to call it Epstein. Carp with an island. <laughs> trying to <f> sleep. <laughs> I, I hate geese so much. What? Wonder what Aaron is doing right now. I know he's off fishing at I think Chish Chichester. I can't say it's right. Chichester. Chish Chister. Chichester. Chichester. Ch. I don't know. Chichester Lakes. Chichester Lakes. That's where I think Aaron is. And uh, I wonder what he's doing right now. He's probably found some sort of dragonfly or butterfly or mosquito to pretend like he's really fascinated in. Dragonfly in a bivy look. Never seen that before. Doing this weird little hand thing. Grebe. This fish over this fish. This um bird over here keeps getting fish. Oh, he's like small. <laughs> Where's my hands at? Probably also going on about his new bivy. He's got a new bivy recently. Good morning everyone from my brand new bivy. You should go for the camera. You guys know I'm not really 
a sort of tackle tart or like a. Bet you all can't wait for me and him to have a session together soon this month for Big A's. Wonder what things I can think of to terrorise him with during that session. How can I ruin his family friendly show? Then, guys, look at this little beauty. It might be the smallest fish in it, but is this not just a gorgeous stocky and one for the future? Look at that. That is definitely a fish for the future. It's probably about 10, 10, 11 pound. Look at that lovely mirror. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? I don't mind catching small ones when they look like this. And to be fair, after the five session blank, I'll take it. What a lovely, lovely mirror. Caught again on the Magic Bean Wafter, or yellow Magic Bean Wafter from Parker Baits, and uh, that's a load of Parker Baits mini mix on a solid bag in open water. I'll show you the other side. What a pretty, pretty fish. That is amazing, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> I do like the small stockies, it gave me a little bit of a run around, but yeah. Right, let's get it back and hopefully we'll try and get another one. <laughs> That's the stocky, we'll get her back. Beautiful stocky fish. That could be a birch grower for the future. What a session it had been. Another one that truly captures what carp fishing is all about. Getting yourself out in nature, making new friends and supporting them through their angling journey. Learning what methods work in order to get those bites. The gorgeous scenery, putting up with the wildlife, never giving up, and of course, the gorgeous fish. The blanking streak at the birch is over, and there is no doubt in my mind that I will be renewing my ticket at this incredible place. It is you guys, part of the incredible angling community that keep this channel going. With some big changes to my life coming very soon, I cannot express how grateful I am to all of your support you have given me over the years. In all sincerity, thank you. I am already thinking of ways to give something back to yourselves of being the legends that you are. If you would like to continue to support for the channel, all I ask is that you give the content a like and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, remember it's totally free. Tight lines all, drop your guts, grab your nuts, and I hope to see you all on the bank.